the question that I get asked the, the most often, as you can imagine, is this, you know, this movie Black Hawk Down, and you know, what's what's it like to be played by a, you know, a teen, you know, movie star and all that kind of nonsense, and you know, what's it like, you know, in relation to the book and reality, and you know, and I'll tell you very quickly, folks, if you haven't seen the movie Black Hawk Down, I would would recommend it. it it's a pretty pretty authentic depiction of urban battle. Um, you know, you heard about, you know, another phenomenal battle, you know, when th we were soldiers once and young and, and, uh, and another movie, and I haven't spoken with, with Tony or General Moore or Mr. Galloway about what they think about uh, the depiction, but I would say from the, you know, we're talking movies and Black Hawk Down, it's pretty good. Um, they certainly, all the actors act like little rangers and little delta operators and they, you know, they do the things you would expect soldiers to do, you know, in battle. I mean, the place looks like Mogadishu and they had real rangers doing the fast roping and they had the, the 160th guys flying the little birds and the Blackhawks. I mean, it's, it's pretty doggone unrealistic. If you want to know what urban battle is like, watch the movie, you get a pretty good sense of it. But uh, what I think is, is, is best about this movie, you know, in this modern age, you know, with a lot of nonsense that goes on in Hollywood, what's really great about this movie is I think that Jerry Bruckheimer, the, the producer of the movie, did a phenomenal job, not only in telling this story, but really in showcasing, you know, the values of the warriors that fought on that day. You know, the Army's got seven values that we, we, we hand out to everybody, and it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, you know, ideal about reshaping America's future with values. Well, watch this movie. There's a couple of good ones. And the first value that I, I share with you that I think is, is phenomenal is this notion of selfless service. You know, very simply, you know, putting the needs of others in front of yourself. You know, the veterans in this audience know this. I mean, it's your ranger buddy on your left, your right, your mate, your team squad. The nation always comes first. I mean, that's it, plain and simple. There's no other thing. I never enters in to the equation other than what can I do for this country. You know, you, you see this movie, and I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, you know, in reality, I was a young 26-year-old staff sergeant at the time had never deployed to combat, had trained all over the world, had gone through all these, these great training courses, but I'd never, never been to battle. And this was going to be my, my opportunity to shine. And I remember, like it was yesterday, I was uh, down at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, in an isolation cell, getting ready to go to this mission. And uh, we had, had, had packed up all our gear, we'd done all of our training, we're getting ready to go in to catch this guy, and, and, and off we're going to go. And so we've got our, our kit packed, and. You know, late at the night, I'm, I'm, you know, alone by myself thinking about this impending battle and this unknown into the future that we're, we're getting ready to go. And I uh, remember I was walking down the hallway at this, this isolation facility, and I came across this memorial courtyard. And in this courtyard was just a simple marble wall, nice, white, highly polished, and it had the names of all the soldiers that had been killed and had, had gone before us on the wall. Flag was posted there. I mean, a brilliant, brilliant scene, if you can imagine. And I looked at it, you know, I'm standing by myself in the middle of the night, and I see on this wall this verse of Scripture. And the Scripture is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 8. And if you go around the army now, and, you know, a lot of units, particularly a lot in the, the, the soft community, you'll see this. And this Scripture says... And then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, Lord, send me. I mean, I can't quote a lot of scripture, I tell you folks, but I remember that one. Who will go for us? Here am I, send me. I mean, you've heard this before if you've been here since the beginning of this conference, and you're going to hear it a lot more later on, and the gentlemen that are going to speak to you immediately after are going to, going to just blow you out of the water with this ideal of selfless service. Well, you know, that, that had an impact on me. I mean, that's what we do. We go for others. And, uh, you know, later on, if you watch this movie, Black Hawk Down, you'll see a great showcase of this value of selfless service. You know, I had been inserted in the wrong spot 
uh, on October 3rd and had an immediate casualty. You know, right off the bat, I have a kid, he, he's fallen about 60 feet out of a helicopter. I mean, who'd have thunk it? That, that could ever happen. He's fallen down, an immediate casualty, the medic's screaming at me, you got to get him out of here or he's going to die. Talk to my RTO and I say, hey, call the medevac, we got to get it out of here. And the RTO turns to me and says, hey, Sergeant Neversman, I got no comms. I can't talk to anybody. Can only receive. And then as I'm sitting there, Looking around, I realize, you know, we're, we're obviously in the wrong spot. We're three blocks from where we should be. And, oh, by the way, now I realize we're taking fire from three directions, from the north and from the east and from the west. You know, significant fire. And I'm like, my gosh, you know, that, that you couldn't dream up, at least at the time, a, a more worst-case scenario. And, you know, I, I'm standing there, like, kind of befuddled at, at the thought of being in charge for the first time in combat, and all this has happened before I've even, um, you know, had time to think. And I realized instinctively, I turned around to one of my, my right-hand men, one of my team leaders, a guy named Casey Joyce from Plano, Texas. My like, Sergeant Joyce, you've got to get an aid and litter team and move him down to the objective. I mean, that's got to happen. And young Sergeant Joyce looks at me, he's got those great big eyes, and like, holy smokes, you want me to do what? I'm like, hey, man, we've got to get him out of here. And so you see this movie, you'll, you'll, you see it. The, he got an aid and litter team, put him on a stretcher, lifted him up, and off they go. I mean, hail of bullets all around him. I mean, this isn't a fish story. I mean, this is the truth. And they're running with this stretcher. They're fighting the enemy. They put it down a little bit to engage him some more, pick it up and go. And, you know, in the meantime, we're back, you know, in our blocking position, you know, fixed and trying to, to, to fend off the herd. And, like, in no time, I turn around, and there's... Uh, there's Joyce. He's back, kind of hanging on his, on his uniform, you know, right in the middle. Like, gunfire's still going on. He's like, hey, so we're We got him out of here. You know, because of his selfless service, I mean, Todd Blackburn is alive today. I mean, Sergeant Casey Joyce, the epitome of a selfless servant. And later on in that, that, that day, you know, Casey Joyce would do another selfless act, engaging an enemy to pull security around a corner of a building and wind up with the most unlikely wound from an enemy guy blocks away, uh, have a round pass underneath his arm in the one little spot that his body armor wouldn't cover and give his life on the battlefield protecting others. I mean, selfless service. That's it. That's, I can't tell you any more about it, folks. And especially for you young folks that are in here, that value has got to be stamped indelibly into your system. So watch the movie. You, you, you can see it in real life. Well, you can see a picture of it, that selfless service. So I think they did a good job. You know, million acts of it on that, that day. <laughs>